Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Poe, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, hi, hello, how are you doing? Today I am back once again to do a recap of an Amber Lynn Reed live stream. This one was titled something or another about the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't know, You y'all know that like all of her, all of her live streams are inside jokes and shit with people that aren't on the internet. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna go over this one. I did take a little bit of a break last week because like they were just all so long and so tedious and so boring and I'm just like, I don't, I'm not gonna, listen, I just don't have the time, <laughs> just personally, just per I probably could find the time, but I don't personally have the time to go through and watch all of these things because they're, they're, they're boring. And I, I personally am of the belief that if something is not entertaining, interesting, whoever, whatever to you, then don't waste your time, okay? But before we get into the recap, I do want to thank the sponsors of today's video, which is adamandeve.com. If you're unfamiliar with adamandeve.com, they are a website that sells items, products, whoever, whatever, for, for all of your adult 18 plus needs for any kind of like situation that's maybe like a little bit more intimate, you know, you know what I'm saying? All of those kind of situation types of deals. And, you know, for you to use by yourself, for you to use with a friend, with a partner, consensually, we love to see it. They sell all those kinds of things, okay? <laughs> and if you use code Zachary, you will get 50% off of one item plus free shipping in the United States and Canada, though some exclusions do apply. The great thing about adamandeve.com is that they have a 24 hour, seven days a week customer service program, and they also have a 90 day, no hassle return policy. So if you get one of those items and it's, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, then just return it. No, no, no hassle. They also give 20% of their profits to fight the spread of HIV around the world, which I really appreciate. I think that's great that they have a cause. So make sure to go use my code, Zachary, for 50% off of one item while you can, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you so much to adamandeve.com for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Now let's get into the live stream. So a big thing to note about this is that Becky is not physically present at the beginning of this, okay? Becky is not there, they are not present, and they do end up making an appearance, but by appearance I mean they're on a FaceTime call on speakerphone at the very end of the stream, and I will say that that's probably the star of the show, okay? That's probably... That's probably the moment that like people are talking about on Twitter the most about right now in this moment. <laughs> but there are a few other gems that we'll talk about before we get to that. So stay tuned if you want to hear my thoughts about the big uh, Becky moment situation type of deal that does indeed happen at the very end of the stream. Because I do, I do usually go chronologically whenever I'm recapping these things. So the first thing that I thought was interesting is that Amber Lynn talked a little bit about the smoothie that Wifey made for her. If you don't follow Amber Lynn on Snapchat, she might have posted it on... She might have posted it on Instagram too, I'm not sure. But she posted this this little picture of her trying to struggle drink this smoothie that wifey made. And then they they reveal what is in the smoothie. What was in the smoothie you had? It looked good. By the way, David Bradley the third, welcome to Stream Queens. Okay, what was in the smoothie? Spinach, collard greens. Uh, apple, avocado, berries, flaxseed, chia seed. Damn, all that? Yeah. Oh, dang, I'm healthy, queen. Now you're telling me this has spinach, collard greens, apple, avocado, berries, flaxseed, and chia seed. You're telling me it has all this shit? No wonder! This is like what, what baffles me is like, smoothies don't have to be gross. Like healthy food doesn't have to be gross. Like you don't have to literally chug those things down. There are ways to eat all of those things in delicious ways. But you said, let me blend this shit up in a smoothie. <laughs> let me blend this shit up in a smoothie. So no wonder Amberlynn is like, 
trying to get it down because it's not good. It's not. But that's not really that much tea or drama. What is tea? What is tea is that Amber Lynn finally, if you remember like a couple weeks ago, Amber Lynn was like, there's one thing about our relationship that like we just don't agree on. Well, in this live stream, for whatever reason, Amber Lynn decided to share what said thing is. Name one bad thing about wifey. You know what I want to say, huh? Am I allowed to say it? Mm -hmm. Is that what you thought? Wait, what did you think I was going to say? You could say that. Wait, did you think it was something else? Yeah, but we'll talk about it later. You can say it. Wait, I'm so cool. Okay, so... <laughs> The one thing that me and her don't agree on is <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Okay. She is like, she wants to like, <laughs> I don't know how to word it. She's Polly. But she said she'd be willing to be monogamous with me, try it out. And I did a little compromise moment, but I'm not going to say, like, what it is. Um, which is hard. But she... <laughs> she doesn't want to date other people. Just... <laughs> you know. Okay. And I have to say, in queer communities, I think, like, polyamory is actually something that is relatively accepted. So for me, that's not that weird that a queer person would be somebody who's open to polyamory. Um, a lot of, I would guess most people who are polyamorous are also, like, some level of queer, okay? <laughs> so that's not, that's not shocking to me. And I also, like, personally don't have any, I, I know people who are in polyamorous relationships, um, and while it's not personally for me, I understand, like, it being a thing, okay? I think it's great. I think I've seen it work before. I think it can work. But in this situation type of deal, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure it's going to work out. Because the thing about polyamorous relationships is that they're just like any other relationship, okay? Relationships are hard. Relationships require communication. Relationships require some like boundary setting, some expectation setting. And those things are all hard when you just have one person, okay? When you add more and more people to the mix, it's gonna get more difficult to communicate effectively, to set boundaries effectively, right? So everybody has to be on the same page. And these are things that historically, historically we have not seen Amberlynn do, like period, okay? We haven't seen her set boundaries. We have not seen her be a great, excellent communicator in any of her relationships. So I'm just like, you are gonna have to put the work in if you want this to work out. And she's already talking about how they're doing compromising around this issue and how, um, you know, like all relationships take compromise. And I'm not gonna include the clip, but she does say at one point during the stream that like, you know, all relationships require compromise. All relationships, like if you really care about them, require you to take time to, to kind of meet people where they are. But that doesn't mean you compromise on everything, right? Like, there are some things in relationships that, like, for folks that are, are non-negotiable, okay? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compromise with my partner on, like, who's gonna do what chores around the house, okay? I, I will compromise with my partner about maybe what we choose to spend our money on. I'm, I'm not going to compromise on, like, core values and beliefs to me, right? And I feel like this is a big thing to compromise. It's okay if you don't want to be in a polyamorous relationship. I mean, the whole thing is, like, it does need to be consensual between all parties. So it's okay if you don't want to be a part of that. But to compromise on that, like, I feel like you're already setting yourself up to be disappointed, right? Because one way or the other that's a pretty big thing that one of the two parties in this relationship is not going to get exactly what they want and 
I think it's fine for you to say, hey, I don't want to be in a polyamorous relationship, but you, you need to you need to communicate that and, and also not set yourself up for disappointment. There are also lots of people speculating that this is why Amber Lynn has been like questioning her her sexuality and her interest in men. And I, I don't know about that. She says that that's not the case, that that's not why she's doing that. I, I don't know. It could be. It could not be. I don't really think it's actually that important or relevant, to be, to be honest, because the larger concern is just that she, I don't think, is ready to be in a polyamorous relationship with anybody. Somebody also suggests in the chat that this is just a way for wifey to cheat on Amberlynn. She wants to cheat on you. No, that's not really... No. I don't think, like... The way that she describes it, it's definitely not, like, cheating because... I don't know. I mean, I get it. It does seem that way. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You guys wanted the answer. That's the answer. I don't want to talk about it anymore because the subject makes me just... Mm -mm. But that's not really what polyamory is because, like I said, it's usually something that's consensually agreed upon by all the parties involved, okay? Because I think... My understanding is that people in polyamorous relationships can still cheat on, on their partners if it's not, like, an agreed-upon situation. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think some people are a little bit confused about that, and I'm ha happy to help clear the air about that. Like, everybody that's participating in the polyamorous relationship needs to know that everybody is participating, usually, to my understanding. I mean, again, I'm not in a polyamorous relationship, but I know folks who have been. But the thing about the cheating thing is that from what Amber Lynn's response was to that, it seems like she does think that polyamory is cheating. And that is a problem. That is a problem if that's like one of her core beliefs about this type of relationship. And that's why I'm saying like, girl, <laughs> you're already, you're already disappointed by this. Okay. You're already going to be upset by how this is working out. Like, I don't think that this is, unless wifey just has a whole reversal and says like, I, I'm going to be monogamous for you forever. I feel like you're going to be disappointed when wifey eventually does partake in a poly in polyamory. Okay, I, I I just think you will. And Amber Lynn does end up admitting that she, she is a jealous person and that this might not work out. Amber, I think you'd enjoy a poly relationship. No, 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 no. I wouldn't because I'm very jealous. Like, she's already explained to me, like, she wants to be in a relationship with me. She just wants, like, <laughs> I don't want to give too much of her business out. But, obviously, like, I'm the one that she wants, you know, in, like, all aspects. But, I don't know. It's just I'm very, like, jealous. <sighs> and, like, I, honestly, if I was to hook up with someone else, I feel like I would just be thinking of her. Like, that's just the way that I see things. I don't know. And honestly, I say, okay, I'm glad I'm glad you are self-aware. I think that's important. So respect that boundary for yourself and not get yourself into this relationship when that that is like such a deal breaker for you. It's okay to have things that are deal breakers that that don't work out in a relationship. You are, you've known this person for like two months now at this point, if that, I, I, listen, I don't have a calendar next to me. I'm not looking, I'm not fact checking that, but you have not known this person very long. So there is still time to be like, yeah, this is a deal breaker. I'm good, bye. <laughs> like, like you act like you've been dating her for years and you know, this is just something you gotta work through and work on. It, early in a relationship, it's okay to chuck up the deuces when there's deal breakers. It really truly is. So outside of the polyamory discussion, I think the other big thing that happens in this particular bit, well, there's two other things, but the next big thing that happens is that we get to go on a field trip with Amber Lynn. We get to leave the couch. So basically what happens is Amber Lynn is like, I gotta go to the bathroom. So she picks up her laptop or whatever she's filming the live stream on. 
and takes us, almost takes us into the bathroom and then says, maybe I don't want you in the bathroom while I'm peeing. So she puts us in the kitchen, she comes back to the kitchen and she decides we're gonna have a little vlog moment. We're vlogging. The real thing that is alarming to me is this whole moment with this, like the whole kitchen is filled with like groceries and things that need to be cleaned and thrown away. But there is a jug of milk and all, and all of this happens. Milk goes in the fridge. Oh. Yeah, about that. <laughs> We're throwing that milk away. This is gonna be so gross. Okay. I'm trying to read the comments. It's not working. Okay. We're gonna have the water running. Ew! If you guys saw this, you'd puke. You really would. I'm not lying right now. You guys wanna know the milk story? I'll tell you the most story. Okay. So me and my girlfriend. Wait, hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Ew, this is so gross. It just splattered on me. <laughs> I'm leaving. Ew. Am I going to get salmonella? Okay, hold on. I'm going to do the garbage disposal. So. Ew. I literally just puked. Milk story. So we uh, woke up and domestic win. Okay, so we woke up and we made breakfast together. She made French toast. I made um, hash browns. Um, okay, that's a cute little kitchen. It is when it's clean. And uh, sorry, I'm trying to read these too. Okay, so for some reason, we bought milk and we didn't need it and we accidentally left it out. <sighs> That's literally the story. But what's cute is we made breakfast together. Like, it was so cute. I just have to say, what is it with the girls and their food and their waste of food? I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, for me, I don't know. There were just like, we didn't waste food growing up. Like we didn't have lots of money. So we didn't, you know, we ate everything. It, it was a, a travesty if something went bad <laughs> and we had to throw it out. So for me, like the waste of food, the cleanliness, just leaving a jug of milk out on the counter. What were y'all doing all day? What were you all doing all day that you couldn't like literally... Amber Lynn's only job is to live stream. That's all That's all she's doing two days a week. So you're telling me at some other point during the day, you couldn't throw that, throw that milk out or at a minimum, maybe just put it in the fridge to begin with instead of leaving it sitting out. I don't, I don't understand. And that's not to mention that, like I said, there's just like all kinds of other produce, dirty dishes, whoever, whatever, just sitting out. And I'm like, how do you all like live like this truly? <laughs> like I'm not the most organized, cleanly person in the world by any means, but like just having food just sitting out for like bugs, ants to come, fungus, whoever, whatever, that's a no from me. I also want to include this clip of wasabi for you all. Here he is. Here's a little one right here. I know a lot of people have been concerned about where wasabi is. It has been a long time since we've seen wasabi on camera, so I get it. I got it. We, we have seen Rarity and Twinkie both, but we haven't seen wasabi in a long time, so she does find wasabi, shares wasabi with us. And I have to say the rest of the, the kitchen vlog was relatively boring. I mean, she does do a weigh-in if that's something that y'all are interested in. As you know, I don't really cover that anymore <laughs> when it comes to Amber Lynn, not something I'm personally interested in covering anymore, but she does do one. And I'm, I am also mentioning it because it kind of is interesting to me that during this little span of time in the live stream, she was doing so many things that people have been asking her to do for a while. She was showing herself walking. She was showing wasabi, which people have been asking about for a long time. And she also did a weigh-in. So it's like, 
you're doing all of these things that people wanted, like, where is this coming from all of a sudden when you've, like, refused to do it in the past, you know what I'm saying? And I also think, like, oh my god, even if she just filmed that for a vlog, like, people would have click, 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 click. Like, I don't understand why she doesn't just do that. She could have just done that little section of the live stream, posted it as a vlog, and been great. But she's out here acting like she doesn't have any kind of content that she could vlog, and also complaining about doing live streams. It's like you could you could do vlogs. You just you just did it, but on a live stream. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I I would love for her to go back to vlog content because sitting through hours and hours of live streams is just too damn much for me. So the next part is a really uh, important or tea worthy, but I just thought it was funny. Oh my gosh! I thought she just farted. No, I've like I. Y'all, okay, what does it mean when you don't fart a lot? <laughs> Let's just, please. Okay, we're friends right now. You guys are at my home, hanging out. Y'all, what does it mean when you don't fart a lot? I'm talking maybe once a day. I feel like she's just saying this because uh, people have been calling her out on farting in live streams lately. And it has happened a time or two in a recorded video too, and why she wouldn't edit that out, I don't know. But people have been calling her out on it a little bit lately. And listen, you know, you know my philosophy, everybody farts. It's okay to fart, <laughs> it really is. So I, I just thought it was interesting, but really, the real reason, the real reason I'm including this is because I just wanted a reason to include this follow-up clip. These fart fetish guys are living for this content. Ooh, fart daddy. I don't know what that was. Okay, fart daddy, you better fart. Yes! <laughs> so eventually the stream comes to a place where like, I think people were like sending in her dares through super chats and stuff like that. And one of the dares was to call an ex. She ends up calling Destiny first and she has like this really awkward, uncomfy combo with Destiny and Dana where like, She's like, why, why, are, why are we not so close? And I'm like, I'm sure Destiny and Dana don't want to go into this right now. So Destiny just kept making jokes about Amberlynn having a new wifey. It's really not that interesting. It really isn't. It truly isn't. And then also, I guess the only interesting thing is like Amberlynn does suggest that she interrupted them trying to, to get it in. Those are Amberlynn's words, not mine. The realty comes when she calls Becky. And Becky and her, they talk and talk and talk. And, like, Becky's trying to enjoy herself. I, I, I believe she was at Eric and Ricky's just having a good time. They talk and talk and talk and talk. And then Becky's like, okay, I got to wrap this shit up. And so then this happens. All uh, right, I got to I gotta get going. I love you. So Jay, I love her, too. You literally said I love you to me. Yeah. You can't be doing that. Yeah, you're my friend. Bye. Oh, okay. Love you, too. She's never said that. That was really weird. Okay, I'm leaving. And so in case you didn't hear that, what what I heard was Becky said, I love you, and tell Jade I love her, too, um, which a lot of people obviously ran with, and they're like, oh, my gosh, this is, this is the name of wifey, whatever, whoever. And Amber Lynn tries to play it off like, oh, it's so weird and quirky that Becky still says I love you. But it's not weird to me because Becky has made it clear that like she really does care for Amber Lynn, that Amber Lynn is somebody who's really important to them regardless of if they're in a relationship. So it's it's not weird to me that after four years of, of dating somebody and probably telling them regularly that you love them, that Becky would say that, you know? I feel like Amber was trying to deflect from the part where Becky said Jade, you know what I'm saying? So, so there's that. And the name Jade makes sense as pointed out by this tweet, which reminded us all that weeks ago, and I covered this in a video too, but weeks ago there was a person in Amberlynn's live stream um, called Far From Jaded, okay? So pieces are starting to come together. Things are starting to add up. 
And I would have to say also though, regardless of the name being out there, just like keep in mind that there are hundreds, probably thousands of people on the internet named Jade. This is not like permission for y'all to go on this goose chase to try to find her. I already had people send me like screenshots of profiles of black women named Jade. Okay, there are so many, there are so many. I, I would say refrain from doing that. I do think though that we will be seeing wifey on stream or on video sooner rather than later. It's always been my belief that, that she would eventually make an appearance. Again, this happened with Becky whenever Amberlynn started dating Becky. Amberlynn was like, I'm never putting Becky on camera, like blah, 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 blah. And, and it was like a month later and Becky was on camera. You know what I'm saying? I do think that eventually wifey will be out there. I think it's okay to just wait for that. You know, we don't need to go harass random women on the internet who probably have no idea who Amberlynn Reed is. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? With all that being said, I did get a, a notification this morning that Becky is going live today. It's possible that this video, the one you're watching right now, won't be out until after Becky goes live. So it's possible that I might be missing some kind of tea, drama, scoop, whoever, whatever. If that's the case, I'll try to do an update video as well. What I will say is that I don't plan on covering every single thing that Becky does on their channel. That's not super important to me. If tea gets spilled, that's fine. But I imagine that a Becky live stream is gonna be just chill and Becky talking about like their favorite movies, their favorite video games, some 90s nostalgia. So I, I don't assume that it's gonna be too overly interesting. And I also have to say, I really hope that Becky doesn't fall into this like trap of live streaming or think that they have to do live streaming because that's what Amber Lynn does successfully. I hope that they, they don't get too caught up into that cycle because like, I'm sick of the live streams, if I'm being honest, all the way around. I've been sick of the live streams, if we're really being honest, which I think I've said before. So stay tuned for that. Check that out. Obviously, if you want to support Becky, feel free to go support Becky. I support you, whoever, whatever. But that's it. After the street, after Becky said that, Amber Lynn zooted out of that stream real quick. She said, no, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going to sit here and try to, to deny or confirm uh, what wifey's name is. So that was literally pretty much the end of the stream. That was it. So. All right. So surprise in the span of time that I filmed this video and started editing this video, Amber Lynn decided that she was just going to spur of the moment spontaneously go live on a day she never goes live at like noon her time <laughs> so she's live right now obviously i'm not going to be able to catch everything but here is some clips from future mrs becky on the twitter if you want to go check her out i'll i'll tag her right here but yeah this is this is unexpected and here are some clips of of amber lynn talking about becky saying the name jade on live stream yeah, I got mad at Becky. This is the text that I sent. I said, ha ha ha, they think that, I'm not going to say her real name. Ha ha, they think that Blank's name is Jade. I'm dead. But now I'm getting messaged by these two girls today and they're being bothered by trolls. I'm done talking about her. I said, this is kind of your fault because you had to go and make some stupid joke like you always do. The reason why I said that, far from Jaded, like at the beginning was wifey is because I wanted to literally confuse you guys at the time. But I promise it is not her. You guys are contacting the wrong person. And I don't know how else to like prove it to you guys that you're literally, I don't know, you're embarrassing yourselves. Like, I don't know. Tell me what y'all think down below. I personally agree that like you don't need to go on a like goose hunt weird chase to try to find this person because I do believe they'll eventually be on the channel anyways. But also a lot of this feels like damage control on Amber Lynn's part. I don't love that she's like getting mad at Becky when Becky didn't say, hey, I want to be on your live stream tonight anyways. So that's kind of annoying to me, but I would be curious to see what your thoughts are. And obviously if more happens in this live stream, I will report on it if it if it's relevant. That's all that happened. Let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, I would love to hear what y'all think about it. Again, don't go harass random strangers on the internet named Jade. I think that's stupid. <laughs> okay, just, just hold on to your horses until more information comes out, okay? Some of these people will have no idea who you are even talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I have. 
If this is your first video, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell button so you get a notification when I go live. Thanks once again to adamandeve.com for sponsoring this video. Leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun today, I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!